So, right on. I need to replate these. So I have a nickel anode. Uh, first off, I clean these up. I use some of this. Cleaned all the green stuff off. Um, I'm gonna need some vinegar, some salt, mason jar. I'm going to use some mechanics wire. We're gonna mix the salt and vinegar in here. We're gonna connect our anode here. I just got it from Amazon. It's a point nickel anode. It's 99.3 I think percent. Okay, so it's my vinegar. You don't want to use anything metal. I put the salt in about a tablespoon. And this is just to help the current flow. I'm going to have to cut my piece into two. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to try to cut this lengthwise. That way it'll go deeper. Okay, I'm going to do that and yeah. So, there's one. We might trim that off. So what we're going to do here is just let it um, kind of prep itself, we'll say. I am not a scientist. And again, this battery might not work. There's one. There's the negative. So eventually you should start seeing the negative start bubbling. If this battery's good, I'm going to get my voltmeter right now and check this battery. See once there's a load on it, maybe it went right down to zero. That went right down to zero. We got 0.8 volts. I'm gonna have to find a different battery source. Okay, so we got a six volt. The other battery was no good. Uh, I connected it, I thought I was recording, but as you can see, it's starting to bubble instantly. Uh, this is just prepping our water. Okay, uh, it kinda looks like it's turning green. So we might have to let this sit for about, I don't know, 30 minutes. I'm gonna go eat some lunch. And then uh, hopefully this battery will last. I got these all hooked up. Um, so the current is flowing from the negative to the positive, but then the nickel ions are gonna be going from positive to negative. So I'm pretty sure we'll be hooking these up to the negative. So I think it's turning green. Right on. So it's been about five minutes and you're going to 100% see it's starting to turn green now. I guess like scientifically they call this nickel acetate is what we're creating. So it's basically putting uh, nickel ions in the water. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. Yeah, about 10 minutes. Looking good. Um, I probably, if I was gonna do this on a larger scale, want um, 
some sort of adjustable power supply. Um, but, I mean, this is my first time. I, I've always wanted to do some plating for bolts and stuff, so. Looking bueno is, I think, what they call it. Let's see what we're down to here. 4.4, so. Right on, still going strong. It's only been um, 15 minutes. Beautiful. Okay. Cool. It's definitely turning green. Uh, there might be some off gassing, um, but it shouldn't be toxic. It's not getting warm. Uh, the more amps you use, obviously, the warmer it's going to get. Um, during my research, I never saw anything, anyone that used more than three amps. Um, I think basically, depending on your part and stuff, uh, it would just be the time factor. So yeah, I'll come back in about 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been a solid half an hour. Looking good. We're probably going to be in the, I'm guessing, hour to uh, hour and a half, maybe two hours. I'm sure, a little fruit fly. Whatever. Maybe it's uh, attracted to the smell. Check this battery one more time. Still four point oh now four point three, so it's still cold. Not a lot of amps coming from this battery, I'm guessing. Um, someone said you use uh, like 30 volts. I mean, I got these, but that'd probably be overkill. Oh, looking pretty good. So with some internet searching, I found um, the six volt battery will give about uh, Two amps, so that's right in line. We're down to 4.3. I got a backup um, thing with D cells, so uh, you're gonna make sure these are really clean. I use brake clean, washed, blah blah blah. Um, I believe this is probably a nickel. I mean, um, a tin plate on there. It was very thin, anyways, uh, but the nickel should have no issue plating to that. And yeah, I'll probably give this uh, probably another hour. I'm thinking. So yeah, we are settling in at the one hour and uh, ten minute mark. Um, I don't know if it just looks clear in the middle. Uh, I just checked the battery. We are running at. Um, 4.1 volts, so I'm gonna give this about another uh, half an hour, I think. I think it's just the glass reflecting, so it looks clear. But right on, yeah, and that uh, little little fly still there. We are at two and a half hours now. I regret not killing that bug because, well, now it's in there. <clears throat> like, it looks green going down, but. Huh. This will be the. Oh, another one. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Apparently, that attracts fruit flies. Weird. Uh, hydrogen off-gassing, maybe? Uh, 
Um, so yeah, we're going to hook that up to the negative, which is the bubbling one. Definitely got dulled out there. Holy moly, it is, it is instantly clouded up a lot. A little bit concerned. Um, I got that thing set up to go. I'm gonna actually just pull this out. It's only been like, I don't know, five, ten minutes. But I don't know what mechanics wire is made out of. But I mean. I think my solution wasn't ready. Oh, you know what? I don't know if you can see it, but that's nickel plated. That wire got nickel plated. Can you see it? So yeah, do you know what? We'll just uh, continue on. Right on. Apparently nickel is something about a carcinogen. Allergies should be touching it. Um, definitely don't be inhaling that, so, um, go ahead and wear a mask. I guess I'm supposed to be telling you all this stuff. Because I shouldn't be showing you things to do. <sighs> but anyways, cool. Apparently the bugs like this. There's about five, uh, little bugs there, so... Okay, so we're actually gonna put this on the timer now, and uh, we'll go from a half an hour from now. Uh, it def it's definitely plating, so right on. Okay, um, I wasn't happy with this. The black didn't really, I mean it plated. So I put one of my cleaner pieces in, and then I also attached, uh, look at this ghetto-ness, I also attached another anode to the back side. So it should play it on both sides. And uh, yeah, we'll give that an hour. Yeah, I mean, I cleaned this one up. You can see on the wire, like it's a hard coating. Like I can't scratch it off. It's tough to say on this though. Um, anyways, on here, the copper plated immediately. I think this one's going to turn out good. Anyways. I'll let you know here in a bit. What are you, some sort of psychopath? Right on. There you go. Um, so clearly, these pieces were not clean enough. You can see it didn't want to plate on the inside there where I couldn't get nothing. The copper plated instantly. But it, I mean, obviously there's a spot of something there. And it's better than what it was. I'm gonna pull this off, wash it off, and then uh, maybe I'll scuff it up. Maybe use a wire wheel and uh, do it again. I put the other piece in there. Let's see if you can see it live. That copper's already getting plated. I got it going from both sides again. Battery's still at 3.5 volts. Yeah. So what are we running at now?
2.9 so we're under the 3 volt mark now plates very quick um, I don't know if you can see the little black so I'm guessing that's like contaminants I don't know how you would like sandblast copper or clean these any better than I did um, this one is fucking great fucking coverage though so Alright, well, overall, I'd say a great success. Um, what I learned is uh, you need to have a very clean metal. Plates instantly to the copper. As you can see, I couldn't get it clean in there, so whatever that was, didn't want to plate to. Which is fine, because the original plating wasn't there. It was on there still, so...